Well, it's time now for a look at this morning's French papers. We're joined by Oliver Farry. Uh, Oli, not for the first time, Greece is the big story. Yes, with less than a week to go till the referendum called by Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras on the creditors' proposals for Greece, uh, Tsipras and his government are calling on the people to reject what they call um, an ultimatum. The Catholic daily Le Croix calls it Tsipras's gamble. Now, that's a gamble that the business daily Les Echo says could lead Greece into chaos. Tsipras's chances, of, it says, of hitting the jackpot are slim, if not non-existent. Greece is on the fatal slope, heading for chaos. Les Echo also reminds us that a breakdown in negotiations could actually lead to Greece having a bankruptcy and ultimately leaving the, the Eurozone. It, it says this is a scenario that may not actually affect other European countries too much initially, but the problem will come when there is another Eurozone crisis. And it says there will be another Eurozone crisis. And at that time, investors will remember that the Eurozone is not carved in stone. And the, the financial storm will be one of unprecedented violence. And even if the European Central Bank has shown it can show its strength, the Eurozone and by extension the European Union will struggle to survive it. So that's rather alarming stuff. The Paris Daily Le Parisien says that the Greek crisis is in reality a European tragedy that everyone is responsible for. The paper goes down the well-worn path of using Greek mythology to explain things. A Greek tragedy in five acts is what it calls in a fresco. They are namely heavy indebtedness, a banking system frozen, big payment deadlines, a risky referendum, and what will happen if the Greeks vote yes or no? And Alexis Tsipras' political future could hinge on that. In Liberation, Willem's cartoon portrays the Greek Prime Minister who says, if I go down, I won't go down alone, and uh, ranked up behind him are all the European leaders. That's a pretty gloomy picture all round this morning, then. Yeah, the, the, nobody is really looking looking on the bright side here. The, the right-leaning Le Figaro says Greece is on the edge of the precipice. Only an umpteenth spectacular turn of events will lead to a last-minute agreement. Not that Le Figaro actually believes those events w will take place, nor does Alexis Tsipras. It says he doesn't have any faith in it and has proposed to his people a great leap into the unknown. Now, his decision to consult the electorate has provoked mixed reactions among the French press. Liberation's front page headline calls it a clash of democracies. Its editorial criticises Cyprus for using the word ultimatum and also for calling the referendum, which he passed Parliament with the support of the neo-Nazi a golden dawn, just when an agreement with Brussels appeared imminent. The pro-business L'Opinion says that the referendum call, called by Alexis Tsipras is a perversion of democracy, nothing more than a manifestation of the populism that underpins his government. Over on the left, the, the communist daily L'Humanité does have a bit of support for the Greek Prime Minister. It says... His, Cyprus's resort to a referendum is in face of Eurocrats tempted by a financial coup d'etat. The paper says the last word must be with the people and not with the blackmailers. As far as L'Humanité is concerned, Cyprus's decision is a courageous one. Well, at least they have some support from the communists then, in any case. Let's move on to another one of uh, uh, our headlines this morning. Of course, the multiple terrorist attacks in France, Tunisia and Kuwait, all taking place on Friday. The French Prime Minister's uh, been talking tough about the threat posed by Islamic State groups. That's right. Manuel Valls has spoken about a war of civilization. Now, this is a declaration that Le Figaro says puts the cat among the pigeons, irritating his comrades on the left by using an expression that has heretofore been used mainly by the American right wing. Valls knows exactly what he's saying, according to uh, Le Figaro. He's setting himself against Francois Hollande's constant warning to the Socialist Party not to get bogged down in pointless quarrels. Le Figaro says, by telling it like it is, by naming the Salafist threat and by warning of the unenduring nature of this threat, the Prime Minister has brought out of the woodwork those who, out of fear of tarring all Muslims with the same brush, avoid using the suitable words. But the Catholic Daily Le Croix does not think they're the suitable words. Its editorial says that by using the expression war of civilization, Manuel Valls is no doubt trying to burnish his political image of firmness, but the expression is clumsy to say the least. And the Daily ref uh, fears that Valls may revive the spectre of a struggle between two camps, two value systems, and dividing two civilizations, which it says plays into the hands of the terrorists and their French recruits who are now raised to the level of anti-heroes in a global war.
Oliver Farry with the review of the morning's French papers. Thanks very much for that. We'll be hearing more from Oliver, of course, later in the morning.